Hello! In this video we will go over three techniques in the tissue culture lab that we use to resuscitate cells, passage cells, and free cells to maintain a cell line for future use. Alright, so the first step in resuscitating cells from our frozen liquid nitrogen is we need safety. So for that I have our glove and goggles. Jump in here. And here are our cells. Make sure the pin is on and reset is set again. So the next step in resuscitating our cells is we're going to thaw them out very quickly. We'll usually do this in a minus 37 Celsius water bath, but for right now we will use the sink. This is to prevent crystals from forming within the media that will cut the cells open and damage our cells. We'll keep them under here for about one to two minutes. After we thawed the cells, it's going to be very important that we get the cryomedia out of the vial with the cells and deactivate it with regular media or else it will be toxic to the cells. The new media will now be added to the microcentrifuge tube containing the contents of the cryovial. After the five minutes in the centrifuge, we remove the supernatant, either pouring off, or in our case, taking it off with a pipette, so that all that remains is the pellet of cells. We can now add three and a half growth media to our spell pellet and resuspend. We can now add the resuspended cells to a growth flask. Thank you for explaining how we can do resuscitation. Now, I will show how to split the cells into another flask and how to do cell counting. First, use the microscope and determine if it is over 60% of cell confluency. Good. If the flask is confluent, then we split the cells. Settleize the working station. Remove the old media. Add the 1.5 milliliter of terpsins.
and wait 15 to 20 seconds. Tyrosin makes the cells detach. And using the microscope, make sure all cells detached. Good. Now, add 3.5 milliliters of the new media. That media makes to de attached, deactivate the cells. Next, do a cell counting. This flask has around 500,000 cells, so we separate two flasks. Add more. 3.5 milliliters of new media. And then we split two flasks. One flask. And here, two flasks. Next, Alexei will be show how cells are frozen. Thank you June for showing us how to passage cells. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of freezing the cells that June just passaged. Ideally, we do cell count first, but as June already passaged those cells into two flasks, each flask already contains 250,000 cells, which is the amount of cells we want to have before freezing. So let's get to this. The first step in my case would be, is to transfer cells with media in it into 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. We're going to be using a pipetter, 5 milliliters. We're going to take some media and I'm going to wash the walls of the flask to make sure that the cells are off and all in the media. Now I will update the cells with media in it and I will transfer into 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Now, I will centrifuge this. After centrifuging, we're removing the old media.
remove it without uh, removing the pellet. Then we add two milliliters of crime media. to the uh, to our pellet and we move up and down to break the pellet After cells are ready for freezing, we want to freeze the cells slowly. So we're going to place the cryovial with cells in it into Mr. Frosty. Mr. Frosty contains uh, isopropyl, which helps to slow down the freezing. Then we're going to place it into a refrigerator, which is going to freeze cells uh, up to minus 80 Celsius.